Hi, everyone. It is October 3rd. I'm Cindy Walter. And I'm Susan Wheeler. And we are on week seven already of our 90-day game plan. I can hardly believe it's October, let alone week seven already in this game plan. And Sue is here with us today because we're going to talk a lot about mindset today. Um, we have, we have, you know, so far to go yet in this 90 day game plan. And already I've seen a little bit of this, which is normal. You know, people get started. Who wants to do a 90 day game plan? I do. Who wants to be a millionaire? I do. And then we hit deception. If you guys have gone through healthy mind and body, you know how that goes. We hit deception and someone says no to us. And then we decide since we're not, we're not in the right place, I'm not going to get on my 90 day game plan calls. I'm going to take a little time off. I'm not going to do the video. Video this week and before you know it we're in a real rut so we want to avoid that so what we're doing is talking about how important your mindset is and how you can make that change I just went through a two-day training with Rod Harrison and he is all about changing your identity changing your story the story you've been telling yourself you know all your life I wish I could interview Sue and really get you to know her whole story where she's come from to where she is today but she just did something absolutely amazing and went on the most fabulous trip of her life going to Italy to see her son for a couple weeks. And the way she got there was because her mindset was so strong in building her business that she got to a level of success with this that she's earning a six-figure income and she was able to afford it. So Sue, what I want you to share with everyone is, you know, how how did you get your mindset so strong? How how were you able to do that? Because not everybody can take two weeks off. You stayed wherever you wanted to stay. You did whatever you wanted to do. Ate wherever you wanted to eat. Money was not an object for you. You just did it. How on earth were you able to, to do that? Well, I'm going to thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to go back just a little bit. Please. So we, we were together in another company for many years. And one of my favorite things uh, at any conference or anything we did was uh, the inspirational portion. I didn't really care about listening to, you know, the products or the business or I would just get so fired up anything that was inspirational. And I was always able to take an inspirational message and apply it to something totally different in my life. And I, um, so we come forward into this business and, and what I love is personal development is everything. It's such a big deal. We all make such a, um, uh, we just push for it. We're always listening to podcasts and it's exciting. There's so much and there's so many people to hear from. So when I started this business with you, it was four and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And we were at a conference, our first conference. It was celebration, and it was you, and it was me, and it was Val Gerber. Mm -hmm. And I, I just remember thinking, wow, I could really do this. It aligned with everything I believed in. I was, in, I was already a, a certified wellness coach, and I was into you know, good nutrition. I'm an organic farmer. And then when I was understanding the comp plan, and already when I had gotten there, we had been in maybe eight weeks, I had already started making more money than I did, you know, I don't want to say ever, but in my previous business. And so I thought, this is something I want to do. And I went and I got, I got super excited and I, I saw the vision and I you know, came home and I shared it. And my first year or my second year, I can't remember exactly what it was. I didn't want to go to the next conference. It wasn't the next year. It was a year later because here I thought, I remember at that very first conference, Lynn Hagedorn had become a millionaire in one year. And so I, I'm a high achiever. <laughs> I believe in myself and I thought, okay, so in one year, I'm going to be a millionaire and I was passionate. I was sharing it, but it's not that easy. You guys, you know, it takes a lot of work. Um, we're always working towards that, but I got into a place that about a year and a half later, I didn't want to go to the conference. 
because I wasn't where I felt like I should be in my business. And I was really kind I was, and I was really kind of down on myself. And so in looking back, you know, Cindy, thank you, said, this is why you're going because you need this conference. It's not a treat or a reward. It's not a time to just sit and relax and enjoy. It's, you've got to fill your bucket. You need your belief again. So it was at that conference that I heard from Alexis Romano, who took seven years to get to millionaire. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> So maybe somewhere in between there. And that was exciting for me to hear. And it really, it really helped my mindset because I was in a bad place. And I think what happens is when people get down on themselves or down on where they are, they give up. They quit. It's hard. It hurts. People are the people you told you were going to be a millionaire and you're not. And they're going like, so what's wrong with you? You know, and, um, and I'm not there yet, but I, I, the progression is there. I'm working towards it. And that's what, that's really, you have to kind of um, see those signs. And we talk about deception and, you know, we were all gung ho. And we all said, this is it. We're going to do it. And you know what? We all are. You're almost there. And it's, it's so motivating and exciting for me to see that. And, and really, when you take yourself out of the excitement, you're, not, you're all done. It's like cutting off your air supply. It's a, it, you have to be there. You have to stay plugged in. And, you know, I use the term plugged in a lot. Um, whenever things aren't going right, I plug myself in. I start listening to more podcasts. I read books. I go for a run because when you take a plug and it's not connected to anything, your phone won't charge, right? Right. But if you take that plug and put it into energy, now you've got life. And so many of us take ourselves out of that energy. So I think that that, that is, you know, a, a lesson that I learned. And so years ago, I, I've done several things in my life. But one of the things that I did was I cleaned houses. And I was able to see some really beautiful homes. And it, you, you can't really have these pictures in your head until you see things. So house cleaning, what kind of a job is that? You know, I mean, it's great. We all have a, someone helping us clean our house, et cetera. But when, when, and there's nothing wrong with it. All right. But what it did for me is I didn't look at it. Like it made me realize like, wow. I mean, I was only used to you know, my house or my friend's houses or whatever. And I saw some beautiful places and I thought, oh, I want to live like this. And it makes you dream. Mm -hmm. And and then this company, you know, a lot of the trips that we go on, um, you and I especially, because we travel together and we run together, we'll take a day before, you know, go out a day early or whatever. And we'll go someplace fabulous and explore and run and, um so in, in traveling with this company, I was really able to see some, some other places. I'll never forget my very first trip with our other company. And I was like, wow, I mean, you know, I had never stayed at a place like that before. And then you see that and, and it, starts, it starts giving you that belief and, and it gets into your heart. And when my son informed me, back in May, that he was moving to Italy. It was a joyous thing and sad, but I remember saying, I'm going to go see him. I know he's going to move there. If he moved to California, it's about the same distance, you know? So I'm going to get my passport and I got everything in place. And these are the things that I did. My mom was dying at the time. <laughs> and I didn't really think that I was going to be able to go. You know, I, I, I was here, I was taking care of her. Um, 
it, there was just so much going on. But I went and got my passport and I started thinking about it. I started thinking like, when could I go? Even though I was 100% sure I was going, but I went through all the motions. And when my mom passed away in June, and then there was so many things to kind of follow up with and, you know, get her estate and everything together. And, and then I thought about it. And I thought, why not? Why am I not going? I can afford to go. I just have to commit. And a lot of us don't commit. We have dreams and, and you know, wishes, but we just, that's all they are. But when you start actually acting towards it, and even though when I got my passport, I thought, well, if I never use it for this trip, at least I'll have it for some time, or it's good ID. You know? <laughs> so I got my passport, and then I started planning, and I asked my girlfriend who I went to high school with if she would like to travel with me. I know she's been to Europe before, and she's friends with my son. We, you know, our boys grew up together, and we just started planning. And when I was away this summer, she called me up. She said, hey, I'm looking at flights. We bought our tickets. <laughs> we just decided. And it just started happening. And I have to tell you, it, the whole trip was surreal to me. From, from just everything. Landing in another country. I've never, I've been to Canada, Mexico, but I've never really, I've never been to Europe. And it was, it was amazing. And it was really, I just kept, you know, believing. And I'll tell you something. One of the cool things that happened there, I mean, so many things with my trip were so cool. And everybody followed me on Facebook, so I'm sure you saw everything. But um, one of the coolest things that I did post on Facebook was I got one of my biggest checks without a bonus in it the week I was there. I earned it and then got it. That's great. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, absolutely. And it was like, it, it more than paid for my whole trip. Wow. Okay. So the message to everyone is, is they have to make, we have to make a decision. What is your 90 day game plan goal? Go back to that. What is your why? Rod Harrison talked so much this weekend about your why. We hear your why has to make you cry. And I've had so many people say, well, my why doesn't make me cry. And he basically came out and said, if your why is to make $100 a month, it's not strong enough to get you to do the work you need to do to achieve your goals. So you really do have to have a more powerful why. So, you know, overall, certainly family is a huge part of your why. And seeing your son was a huge part. And seeing him be so successful out of college, the kid has no debt because he's earned money through this amazing business to afford him the opportunity to travel like he's traveled. How many kids would like to get out of college and do what John's done? So that's inspiring to begin with. But your why has to be strong enough to put you into action, like you said, to make you do the things you need to do in order to achieve your goals. It's, it's really that simple, isn't it? It really is. And I think a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to get out of this little box that we're in. And so we don't have that visual. You know, for me, I wanted a, a nicer home. I wanted nicer things. I wanted, um, I remember, you know, my husband is amazing um, gardener and farmer and and so we would go on uh, garden tours and uh, and our place was always great but we go on these garden tours and we come home and I look at our place and compare it I'd say why can't we have nice things mm -hmm. <laughs> but you 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 don't know until you until you go and see and that's that's what's so important to, is that you've got to um, you've got to expose yourself to different things. You really do. And now I'll tell you, after having been in Europe, you would think that, okay, been there, done that. I am hungering for more, doesn't it? Yeah. I want to go back. There's so many things I didn't see, so many places that I want to go. And, um, and it's not, you know, it's, it's not about 
It's not about the money. It's just about being able to live and enjoy. I was so calm there. I think a lot of people, even when they travel on a vacation, it, it's nerve wracking. They, they're not working. So maybe they're not getting paid or they're using up their vacation pay. Um, you know, they're, they're worried about other things or now I'm going to have to go home and play catch up. Honestly, Cindy, I, it was so freeing to go and not worry about a thing. It, it, it was just amazing. And I've already this year surpassed a six figure income. So, you know, and it's only what October, right? Yeah. And, um, it's, it's, it's really awesome to, but it really, all that aside, it takes that, you've got to have that picture, that vision. And, and if you, if you don't, if you don't have that, it's going to be really hard. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. really hard. I think we get comfortable with our dreams and we kind of put a lid on it, kind of put a cap on it. And what we want to encourage you is to dream bigger. Um, the, more, the more freedom you allow yourself to have, whether it be with wealth or whatever, the more you're able to do for others as well. And um, Rod was so great this weekend about just sharing how we really need to invest in ourselves. You know, we invest in so many other things. We put our time and effort into so many other things, but where you really need to invest the majority of your time is in your mind because our mindset is absolutely everything. So we all get discouraged, guys. We all go through periods of deception. When Sue wasn't going to go to that conference, she was in quite a pit and it lasted for quite a while. And it wasn't that long. <laughs> it was a few months and it was, okay. going to that conference, forcing herself to go to that conference is what got her through the hump. She came home and she promoted. And what I want to see you guys do, there's many of you who started us with us strong and who have wavered in and out and in and out. And even though we talk about how important consistency is, you're in and out and in and out. I want you to put blinders on for the rest of this 90-day game plan. Be focused. Keep the end in sight. Know where you're going. Know what your why is, what your vision is. It's different than Sue's. It's different than mine. It doesn't matter what it is. If, if that $100 a month you want to earn is going to change your life and it's a strong enough why for you to do it, that's fine if that's your goal. I'm not saying a $100 goal is not worthy. I'm saying whatever it is, it's got to be big enough that it's going to put you into action and make you work because you're not going to achieve the financial freedom to travel off to Europe for two weeks if you don't get into action. But having the mindset around it's great, but you have to have, do the work. And, you know, the other thing, too, that we can both agree on and, and you know, put into this is uh, we're both running two marathons within the next month. Mine is Sunday, you have one next Sunday, and then we both have one together in November. And, um, you know, a lot of people have a goal, right? Oh, I'd love to, you know, run a marathon or run a half marathon or run a 5K. But the bottom line is this, do you even go out the door to run a few steps? And that's, you know, most people don't even start, but it's amazing. I, 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 you know, when I ran my first half marathon, I just said I was going to do it. I didn't think I could run 13 miles. I really didn't. But you know what I did? Every Saturday when the group showed up to run, I just, did, I went with them. And then during the week, I knew that if I didn't run a little bit, I wasn't going to be able to run with them on the weekend. And the next thing you know, I run a half marathon. And I think what happens is, you know, I didn't become a millionaire in a year. You know, I haven't become a millionaire in four years. But I'm not, I'm not stopping. I just, I've got it. You've got to keep doing a little bit every single day. And I think that's what happens is when people don't reach their goals or they're struggling, they stop doing anything. But what you've got to just keep you know, doing those little, little bits every day, you know, getting out there, um, talking to one person, you know, do your power hour. I think the power hour is really helping people. If, if you're in a slump, commit to that power hour, do two a day, mm -hmm. do two a day. If you're in a slump, right. And of course you, 
I, I want to liken it to when we are product coaching a, a client and they have a bad day, do we tell them to just take the day off and don't, don't do any shakes today? Send your products back. Just send them back. <laughs> we tell them, get right back on track. Get right back on track if you have a bad day or a bad week and don't wait any longer. Get two shakes in. Get yeah. two shakes, one meal. So it's the same thing with us in the business, guys. Yeah. We have to stay in the game. If we have a bad day, a bad week, cycles were down last week for me. Does that put me out of the game for this week? Absolutely not. I am fired up to make this incentive work for me. Who am I going to enroll this week with free shipping? So use the free shipping incentive that you have this week to really line yourself up for some great enrollments this week. And those enrollments, you know, if you enroll, if you talk to 100 people, 10, 10 might commit to you. And then out of those 10, maybe one, I'll do the business. It's a numbers game. You got to keep talking to people. You have to stay in action. Anything else? Any other tips you want to leave them with for today? I just, you know, want to encourage you guys to just, you know, don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. I think that's what people do mostly is they give up on themselves mm -hmm. and they say, I can't do this. And, and I know I was there. I was giving up on myself and you know, thank you, Cindy Walter. Um, I would have never quit, but I don't know that I would have gotten, if I didn't go, then that would have been my habit and my pattern. And I would have said, well, I'm not going to go to a conference till I can, oh. you know, mm -hmm. really afford it. And I felt like I was spending so much money on that and I wasn't making it up. You know, I had to do um, something with our taxes for our farm today. And you know, we don't show a profit on our farm. You know, we're still building that business. And you might not show a profit, but but when you look out there from what it was three years ago, five years ago, seven years ago, it's amazing. Right. It's amazing. So you're building, building, building. You'll see it never you just have to keep going. Yep. Don't don't let your head, you know, get in the way of what you really want. Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing, and I'm so glad you had a wonderful trip and that you got to see John, and it was just fun to watch you on Facebook. And, you know, my wish is that so many more of you will get to have opportunities like that. My wish is that I get to have an opportunity like that. I mean, I, I want us all to be able to travel and, and be with loved ones and do the things you want to do, and we have the vehicle that will allow you to do this. It's there for you. You just have to do it. So have a great week, everybody. Make it a great week. Make it. You make the decision. You choose. Make it a great week. And we are here to support you all the way through. All right. Have a great week, everyone. See you guys. Bye.